So, you do need to know a bit of language, right? So, for instance, in question one, they say fractional form. Now, have a look. See these two here, right? That's a fraction. So, this side here is fractional form, okay? And this is not. This is with a negative index. So, it's one or the other. So, in 1A, when they say write each in fractional form, okay, they want us to go from the left hand side, right, over to the right hand side. Okay, can you see that? So, What's going to happen here? I'm going to, I see the negative index, right? So I'm going to say 1 over, and then I'm going to change the sign, right? So now it's positive 1. But of course, 4 to the power of just 1 is just 4. So it's just a quarter. There you go. That's it. That's all there is to it. Okay? Now you can see in 2A, they're asking you to go in the opposite direction. Okay? So you've got a fifth. Now it's a bit tricky. Um, just like I was mentioning this to Darcy before. If I showed you a number like, say, 7, is that positive or negative? Positive. It's positive, but how do you know? There's no sign out the front. Okay, if there's no sign, you assume it's a plus, right? Now, in exactly the same way, when you don't see any index, you assume it's a 1, okay? Because 5 times itself once is just 5, okay? So now that I have an index there, right, I can go backwards. I, I'm in this case over here. I've got 1 over 5 to the 1. So I'm going to cross the line. Now I'm on the numerator. And I'm going to change the sign. There you go. That's it. There's the fractional form. There's the negative index form. Okay? Now, moving down to 3, here's what you've got. Okay? Now, just like before, this is um, law number 2. We know what to do with this. I, I don't know what x is, but it doesn't matter. I know that it's the same base in both cases, okay? So when you divide numbers with the same base, what do you do? Yeah, you subtract the indices. Now watch out. Subtraction, you can't just do subtraction in any order you like, right? 4 minus 3 is not the same as 3 minus 4. So this order here, it matters, right? So that's why the 3 and the 4 are in that order. 3 minus 4, of course, is negative 1. So now, I think the question says, um, uh, simplify each of the following using only positive indices. Now that's another way of saying put it into fractional form. Because you see that's that's not a positive index, is it? Right? So that's going to be 1 over x. and it's just x. That's it. That, that's, that's the simplified form. Okay? Um, now, when you move into question 4 and 5, they're really doing the same thing as 1 and 2, I think. Yeah, okay? So for example, 4a, right? Um, they give you this, 5 to the power of minus 2. Can you see it's just like this, right? It's a number, negative index, okay? So I'm going to do the same thing to it. It's going to be 1 over, right? I've crossed the line, so I should change the sign. It'll be 5, but it'll keep that 2 there, okay? I haven't got rid of the 2, I've just changed its sign, okay? So that's 1 over 25. I think they say, yeah, I mean, we want to get rid of the, get rid of the index. There you go. Those would be the same though, the same number, okay? When you go to 5, it's just like this. We're going in the opposite direction, right? So you've got 1 over 7 squared. That's 1 over 49, okay? So I'm going to cross the line. I'm now on the numerator. So I should change the sign. From positive 2, it'll be negative 2. There you go. Negative and next form.